Hey guys, welcome back to my crypto journal. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, the S&P, the dollar index, and some altcoins that I'm interested in looking at if they've done anything on the chart. You guys know the usual, it's Atom, Dot, Ethereum, and Luxo. Those are my four altcoins that I'm watching throughout this whole bull cycle because I think they have the biggest potential as well as a certain safety to them that has made me very interested in those coins. So let's kick it off with BTC because BTC hasn't really been doing much for the past four days, simply waiting for some kind of news or just making people want to FOMO into this top. Now, if you guys follow my Twitter, you guys would know that I thought the top was at 24 or 25K. I still do think we can see one more pump, but I'm seeing a little bit of weakness here as well as a little bit of strength on the dollar index. Now, there is an earnings report coming out this week, I believe it's this week, and as well as next week, all the way up to February 3rd. So there's going to be a lot of earnings reports coming out, which is going to influence BTC because it's going to influence the stock market. Now, if we take a look at the S&P over here, let me just extend this to see the, there we go. If we look at the S&P, are we breaking out? Yes, we're currently breaking out slightly, but nothing conclusive because this isn't enough of a candle to tell me that. Now, even if we do manage to get up here, while I think we'll be short term bullish for BTC and the S&P, I really want to see us get above 4200 for a greater rally for confidence to be restored, at least in myself and maybe even the markets. Uh, right now, it's looking pretty well. I just don't want to see us break below this purple line, which I will turn into support for green. I don't want to see us break below this because if we break below that, we have an opportunity to retest 3500, which will be bearish for BTC and as well as the possibility of breaking down lower. If the recession does come to fruition, then I could definitely see us breaking down below 3500 and making a new low. Now, if you're in BTC, you don't really want to see that. But at the same time, BTC has made a stronger move than the S&P. So it's created that cushion that I've been talking about on this channel for a while. But I am still seeing slight strength on the SMP right now. So let's take a look at the dollar and see what it says because it's going to have an effect as well. So we're expecting a bounce on the dollar. I've talked about that as multiple times on this channel as well. And I can see the bounce coming around the $100 mark. Keep in mind that there are huge announcements coming out at the first half of February all the way to February 15th. That's going to be inflation numbers, Fed rates and a Fed announcement on the beginning of February. So keep that in mind. But I am anticipating a shot up for the dollar, which is going to bring everything else down. So while I do think that BTC has put in a great move, I think it's going to be short lived, but it's good in general for the structure of the chart. It has done something to indicate that the tides might be shifting, but the tides will take a little bit longer to shift for the longer term. So overall, right now, what I'm seeing is maybe a sideways move wouldn't be terrible for Bitcoin. Some kind of accumulation range between the areas of let's call it 25K and 18K. That's currently what I am expecting. Something like this, maybe even a head fake out, come back in a little bit of this. That's something that I think would be a positive structure for BTC. What we don't want to see is we don't really want to see us break 18.5K because that's going to be a breach. And then, you know, the bear is back on. Bearish sentiment is going to be really heavy uh, under 18.5K. Now, let's take a look at Ethereum to see what it's doing because it was at resistance a couple of days ago as well. I think the moving averages are starting to get closer and you guys can see that the moving averages are starting to get closer. You can see the purple moving average is much closer to Ethereum than it is on Bitcoin. But we are seeing a slight pullback on Ethereum right there. And I think we have divergence as well. So that's bearish divergence right there as price moves higher, the RSI and MACD aren't. So that indicates weakness to me and a sell off should be coming, taking us back to maybe even 1300 here. So, you know, if you miss this run, there's always going to be a pullback. I, I never buy green. I always wait for the pullback because it's going to eventually come. There's a saying, if the pullback isn't behind you, it's in front of you. Meaning if you don't get a pullback here, you're going to get it somewhere up here because unsustainable moves don't last. So Ethereum looking like it needs a pullback looks weaker than BTC. And I do think BTC is going to get a correction because a lot of things are pointing towards that the S&P, uh, the dollar, and everything is kind of in line to get a small correction. Now, what does that mean for the altcoins? Well, dot has put in a pretty nice move. And it's going to create again some cushion. Uh, is it is it looking strong? No, I can see also some bearish divergence coming on here. It's a lot stronger than Ethereum. So while Dot has put a nice move, I don't think it's going to be the move that's going to send us over the edge. I think we're going to need more time to accumulate a little bit more time for the chart to set up. Nothing goes down and just bounces straight back up to head to higher highs in one shot. No, it takes time. I mean, if we just look at back here, where is it? This is remember, this is the start of the bull run. But even at the start of the bull run, it needed time to accumulate before it went back up. You could see it push up, pull back, push up, pull back, push up, pull back. And it's going to happen the same way here, if not longer. 
okay because we're in a bear so dot s needs to put in some nicer moves as well and we can see we've been talking about this dot isn't going to be bullish until we break out of this down pattern that you guys can see here and we're trying to right now which is a really good sign but we still need to get above that 4000 satoshi level once we get above that then dot is going to be looking a whole lot better on the usd pair and then i start to get really bullish on dot as for now it looks pretty average compared to other cryptos Adam is above average in the way it looks in terms of price structure. You guys can see it's starting to head up and try to make this move. And I guess what? We're probably going to get bearish divergence here. All the charts look the same, guys. So uh, I think we're due for a pullback in the next week or week and a half. Keep that in mind as we go into February because everyone's kind of ecstatic with these moves to the upside. Don't really expect a pullback, but it's coming. And I've got cash ready for the pullback. While a recession hasn't been announced, I... I think most of the damage is done. I've covered this in my channel before. I think most of the damage for the recession is done and I'm willing to take that bet because the risk to the downside doesn't equal the risk to the upside. I mean, let's say we cut another 50% from here. That's fine. I can stomach another 50% and drop worst case scenario. I don't really think it has a likelihood chance of happening at this point. But let's say we get a 50% drop. The upside is about 5 to 10x that so i'm okay with those numbers but adam adam does look pretty good it looks better than most of the altcoins i still think it gets a pullback you guys can see it's trying to extend and break out of this downward trend i don't think it's going to happen we see weakness already so i think we're going to get a pullback on adam it might get hit pretty hard down to let's say around eight and if we can get that double bottom then that would be really nice i'd pick some up at eight dollars because i really like the technical chart of Adam. The fundamentals I don't think are as strong as Polkadot, but the chart is stronger than Polkadot, so I'm going to diversify because I don't really know what the future holds. I can only get a rough sketch. And finally, let's take a look at Luxo because I did cover Luxo yes in yesterday's video, and the correction is continuing to happen. We are at day, let's say day 20 out of the day 60 correction, so we still have time to correct and accumulate. And once the Bitcoin chart does correct, Luxo USD should correct very nicely to about 6.5 to 7, maybe even, let's call it below 6. That would be really nice. I definitely pick some more Luxo up because positive news came out in the last announcement, even though no mainnet date was given. So all in all, guys, we're expecting a correction. I mean, even Litecoin, you can see a little bit of weakness. We could still shoot up there and reach for the 24K level on Bitcoin, which would take us to about 102 on Litecoin, which would be fine. But there's a lot of weakness in the charts and there's a lot of strength on the dollar. So Take that for what you will. I think we're going to get a correction and then we can see whether we're going to continue this move up to make a new high. That is yet to be seen because we haven't gotten the move to show us what's going on. But I do think most of this move has been made for the next coming days and weeks. I'm going to be looking for game five projects that are really strong. I'm looking for small caps that can give us really good returns, but I've yet to really find one. I've tweeted about one. It's called Magic and it's at the $265 million market cap, which I think is relatively okay. I'm looking for something more of a gem. I think this is well known. Uh, it's already got a ton of exposure. It's got an ecosystem built out. It's got a whole NFT marketplace. I think this should do pretty well. The chart looks quite good. It's made a really nice move, and you can see it right here. It's breaking out of all-time highs for the past, let's call it, six, eight months. So I think this should do well in the coming months to possibly a year. But I'm looking for something a little bit smaller, a little bit less well-known, that will give us those insane returns because I've already got a lot of safe projects. I've got DOT, Atom, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Luxo, more risky, but I'm looking to add one more to the portfolio. So we'll see what happens during my research. If I find anything special, I'll be sure to invest in it and then share, but you guys will be the first to know otherwise. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's update. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out and happy trading.